Hey, first graders, welcome back. We're going to jump right into our phonics paper. You should have page 259 out with a pencil and eraser. And um, we're going to go over a little bit of a review really quick. All week we've been talking about adjectives. Very good. An adjective, hmm, who can think of what an adjective does? Oh, it's right here. It describes a noun. Good job. It's also going to answer the two questions, what kind or how many. Let's look at this example here. Rex lost his bone. What is the noun there? The noun is underlined. Yes, it's bone. But now if I was asking the question, what kind of bone, we could say, big as the adjective, the, his big bone, or if I ask how many bones, we could use the adjective of any number really, but I chose the number one. One bone, or he could have seven bones, or eight bones, or 12 bones, or whatever number. The one is describing the noun bone. This adjective big is describing the noun bone. All right, friends, go ahead and look at your paper right there on the front. We're going to fill in the blanks, kind of like our paper yesterday. Um, we're just going to think of new adjectives that they have to make sense, though. You can't just write any adjective in the whole wide world, okay? It's got to be something that makes sense with the sentence. So let's read that together. On our blank night of camping, hmm, Sounds like they're asking for a number. How many nights of camping would you do? Maybe on our second night, on our first night, on our third night, on our 100th night, okay? This isn't a true story, so you can be silly or as serious as you'd like, all right, friends? On our, I'm gonna choose second. On our second night of camping, mom made some blank cornbread. What is a good adjective to describe the cornbread that mom made? Mmm, mushy, mmm, delicious, warm, tasty, sweet cornbread, right? Those are all really good ones. Okay, she put it in the blank pan, the heavy pan, the black pan, right? There's a really big black pan that I use when I go camping, so that's the first thing I thought of. What else? Go ahead and write whatever word that you're thinking of right now. Let's see, and dad buried it in the blank of coals of the fire. In the blank coals of the fire. What does coals feel or look like? Well, first of all, I hope you never feel cold. But in the fire, when you think of fire, you think hot, right? In the hot coals. And you can even describe the color, the black coals, the gray coals. Sometimes they even get like ashy and white, right? So go ahead and take your time to fill in whatever word you'd like to there. If you're stuck on writing a word or the spelling of it, remember what Miss Warner always says in class. Try to sound it out, make the sound longer, okay? And also think of the special sounds that we use every single day in class, all right? What makes sense? Let's keep going. After blank minutes, Okay, write an amount of time. You know what this reminds me of, friends? Like Mad Libs. It's almost like you're writing in the adjectives, right, of a story in Mad Libs. You can make it silly or you can make it serious. We're used to those. We're world pros at Mad Libs, right? When mom lifted the lid, there was the blank, blank cornbread. Mmm, the yummy, sweet cornbread. The tasty Delicious cornbread, whatever adjectives you'd like to pick for that. I can't believe that I ate 10 pieces, three pieces. Go ahead and write your number word there. And the last one, that was the blank cornbread I have ever had. Now you could go with it either way. That was the grossest the yuckiest cornbread I've ever had, or that was the most delicious cornbread of my life, right? All right, once you're done with that section, put your finger on number two. It says draw lines to match the number words with the numbers. That is easy peasy lemon squeezy. You guys can all handle that by yourself. And also number three, super easy. Draw lines to match the word 
to the color. Come on, friends. I don't know how you get away with this easy work. Okay, another thing I wanna show you. Number two has a lot of word, number words that you can use when you're thinking of how to spell a number word in the, in the number one section that has all the stories, okay? So you can look back to number two and see how to spell them. That might help you. Go ahead and flip your paper to the back because I'm pretty sure, oh, nope, not just yet. Go back to the front. You almost got away with it. It's time for dictation. Ms. Warner's gonna repeat two times. So turn on your listening ears and I would even repeat it with me. Stretching the truth is not being honest. Very good. One more time. Stretching the truth is not being honest. Don't forget to check your sentence like a teacher from beginning all the way to the end. Okay, a couple more seconds. Very good. Go ahead and flip it to the back now. Let's read number one together. Number one says, write one adjective in each blank as you answer the questions. Basically what you're gonna be doing for the duckling and for the cookies, you're gonna be describing them. That you're gonna be answering the question, what kind or how many, okay? Describing the noun cookie, cookies, and describing the noun duckling. So for the first one, what does a duckling look like? A duckling, let's think about a duckling. What do you think of when you think of a duckling? What color is it? Yellow, some are brown, some have like, green feathers with brown, right? What color is their bill? It's orange. Okay, what does a duckling sound like? If you said quack quack, you're exactly right. What does a duckling sound like? A duckling, well, they don't really sound too quiet, right? They don't whisper. They're really loud. And what does a duckling feel like? If you've never felt a duckling in your life, you can just imagine, what do you think those feathers feel like if you would move your hand across those feathers? Okay, and then the next one wants you to imagine grandma just made cookies. Go ahead and write and tell me describing words about those cookies. Number two, you might see a lighthouse if you visit Acadia National Park. Read the adjectives and write them in the correct lighthouse. So if the adjective answers how many, you're gonna write it in the second lighthouse, the one that looks more like a rectangle, like a square. And if it's answering what kind, you're gonna do put it on the first lighthouse, the one on the left-hand side. Okay, friends, this is the end of our week. We did it, take a deep breath. <sighs> week one, done. I am so proud of you, friends. Still missing you like crazy. Still very excited to see you on FaceTime. We're gonna get through this first grade. We have one week down. We have one more week to go. I wanna encourage you to keep on doing your IXL and uh, get your reading done and try not to drive mom and dad crazy. All right, love you guys. Bye friends.